Hey everybody, Rhino here, and this is the Jirachi V-Box. It just dropped at your local Walmart, and you won't believe how much the promo is worth. The promotional Jirachi V-Card inside of this box was worth over $50 just a few weeks ago. Now, I do expect its value to drop now that the box is available in the United States. Either way, this card is holding some pretty good value, and I'm excited to see what else is in the box. So we're going to put it head-to-head -to -head today against a Palafin V-Box that I picked up at my local Target, and we're going to see which box comes out on top. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment down below to let me know that you're here. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join our channel. Speaking of joining, you could join the Rhino crew as well. Like these awesome people right here, they clicked that join button down below. And now they get access to free emojis during our Saturday live streams, as well as discounted shipping in our shop, rarerhinogaming.com. I'd love to have you be a part of our channel. So here it is, the Jirachi V-Box. Now the promo is actually a Sword and Shield era promo. I was shocked to see this box actually make it into my local stores. I thought I was gonna have to buy it online for $50 a pop and it was just gonna be a whole mess, but nope, here it is. And uh, the packs in it have been, uh, well, somewhat upgraded. Again, this came out over a year ago in Europe. So uh, we'll just take a look at what's inside here. We've got the wonderful Jirachi promotional card there. That's beautiful. So happy to have that card. Hey, here's a code card that comes with the box. And uh, along with the promo, there's a random other card in here, which is, hey, it's an Astral Radiance Absol with a Cosmo Hollow pattern on it. Woohoo! And it also comes with an oversized Jirachi V card, so, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Still holds some value here. Uh, you can see it says Sword and Shield number 299 down at the bottom as far as promos go. It was one of the last Sword and Shield promos that were made available. And, of course, the pack selection here. We've got two Obsidian Flames of Paldea Evolved and an Astral Radiance. Seems kind of random to me, but... Uh, I suppose that makes sense with the box itself. So we're gonna do a little mini pack battle here, four packs each. We're gonna start with Paldea Evolved from the Jirachi box. Hopefully we get something good from this one. I am still collecting for Paldea Evolved. Uh, we've got the Psychic Energy there. Let's see what we pulled. Shigalipuff, Girafferig, Tropius, the Great Ball, a viper can i get an ir in the first pack from this box that would just make my day dunsparce uh, no art card but what do we get here hey a chi U E X. not a terrible card to kick things off it is an ex card and it's one i don't see very often so however not super valuable we do have two obsidian flames that is a set that i mastered quite a long time ago it's the, one of the first sets that i mastered but there's still some decent cards in obsidian flames we've got some art cards we could do a little charizard hunting here another psychic energy we've got the hurdy or the glimmet rhyme rock rough excadrill pidgeotto dragonair the weasel the charcadet and an entei nothing in this pack obsidian flames number two and we're doing a mini pack battle so right now the chiyu is the only thing of real value in this box metal energy can we change that here can we get a hit in Obsidian Flames, Altaria, Houndoom, Brassius, Houndour, Amoongus. Huh. Well, a pair of Entes will uh, kind of ruin this box. Astral Radiance gives us one last shot at a hit. It is a uh, Sword and Shield era pack. A black code card. There you go. That's not bad. One, two, three, four cards to the front. Got to have the card trick. Another Metal Energy. So two Psychics and two Metals. Let's see what we get. Wait and see. Shield on. Silene, Mischievous, Barboach, Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, a Radiant Heatran, and a Bastiodon. Not impressed by this box, that's for sure. And well, there you go, two hits out of the whole box. I'm not counting the promos in the pack battle value, but uh, these together are worth one dollar. So up next, the Palafin box. Now, I picked a Palafin box because its setup is a bit similar to the Jirachi box. It's got uh, an oversized card, uh, an EX promo, and four booster packs, so it would make a good pack battle box. Obviously, I have opened a Palafin box before, so the promo is not going to be new to me. However, we'll take a look at them. There's your code card and the Finizen, Palafin, and Palafin EX cards, so... There you go. Neat little uh, promo here with the Palafin EX. Not super valuable, but still cool. And still has the really neat Palafin EX oversized promo card. 
and our pack selection here in Obsidian Flames, two Twilight and a Temporal Forces. So uh, again, we're going with Obsidian Flames. Kind of nice going back to Obsidian Flames, except I hit two Entei. If I get a third Entei, I'll lose my mind. Metal Energy. That's all I've been seeing. All right, let's get a hit here. We need something big. I need some art cards. Sword and Shield era. I uh, don't have a ton of art cards, the alts and stuff like that, but Scarlet and Violet, I should be seeing more art cards. Nothing. We'll give Temporal a try, see if we can get a hit on this one. Here's your code card. And a Lightning Energy. Hey, nice to see something different for once. Turtonator Hoot Hoot, Breloom, the Future Booster, Great Tusk, a Delcaddy, a Feraligator, Cottony, nope. and a Bramblegast. I am getting hosed here. Twilight Masquerade, let's save the day here. Let's hit something massive, something big. Um, you know, there are tons of beautiful art cards in Twilight Masquerade, and I need to get one here. Darkness Energy, we've got a Phantom, a Slugma, a Swirlix, Tad Bulb, a Community Center Iron Bundle, Probo Pass, an Apom, a Jinx, and a Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. Man, I think this still holds like uh, over $10 in value, this card right here. Mega playable. People are loving on this card, so I think by default this wins the battle. But we've got one pack left. Let's see what we can do. Can we hit an art card in our last pack? Can we get something? A little bit more special. Fire energy on the last pack. We'll keep the fire chasers set aside for today. But can we get a hit out of our last pack? Helioptile, Snorlax, Lana's Aid, Leafeon, another Teal Mask Ogre Pond, a Glaceon, and a Heatran. <laughs> All right. And the hit of the video, Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX at over $12. That uh, kicks the pants off of the $1 that I got out of the Jirachi box. But hey, I got a really cool promo and... Uh, you know, had some fun. And while that'll do it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave that like. And hey, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the Jirachi box. Is it surprising to you that it came to the United States finally after over a year of waiting? I never thought I was going to see it in the first place. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. It really does help out the channel a lot. You could also leave a super thanks in the comment section down below. Or again, consider joining the Rhino Crew. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Rhino! Out.